It was a relief to finally get to our destination, the Cary Beach. There are many beaches in this vicinity. There is the Ibasa Beach, Ibechi Beach, and this one, Kari Beach. Halemsim runs the Kari Beach. This involvement is manifested in the cleanliness of the environment. What does one look for in a beach to come this far, notwithstanding the risk of riding on a boat to get here? The accessibility. A lot of people will think, okay, this place is beautiful, it's neat. Mm -hmm. But how do I get there? How do I get here? Because a lot of people are like me. I'm scared of the water. Mm -hmm. you know, so what? What are the safety measures in place to ensure that people who want to come here have a good time, enjoy the facilities of will be safe? Okay. Two options. They can charge a helicopter. Come and drop them here. But then the cost implication will be the next, the, the next challenge. Short of that, they go to Ijegu. That is, they come by road to Satellite Town, come to Ijegu, and just take like 10 minutes from Ijegu to the side here. That's the shortest route. Tourists are known to travel far and wide to popular beaches across the world in search of recreation. The trend is very low when there is a headcount of international tourists in Lagos beaches. Would private beaches far away from the maddening crowd increase our tourism potentials? Done? No. No. <laughs> There's so few cameramen around. Huh? Few? There's so few cameramen around to take out in there. Ah. All right. Thank you. Vivian is the media consultant and we've been having fun right here and she's going to tell us what she finds really interesting about this scenery. So should we get uh -huh. Alex Beach Resort. One, the ride all the way down from the island, from the interior island, is one I think everybody should want to experience. Um, it's about it's a five minutes ride. But you get to enjoy the views. At a point, you feel as though you're going, you're leaving civilization, <laughs> and you're like, hey, where is this place? Are we going to Togo or somewhere? But, you, you know, you're relieved when you get here and you discover some hideaway, so to say. And um, what I like about this place, or rather what I find um, very interesting about this place is um, the peace, the serenity. It's so calm. It's very, very calm. And then it's exclusive, you know, it, it's, there's a lot of privacy here. You can get to be what we have you know in Nigeria we, we are blessed we have great intentions we are blessed Nigeria is especially Lagos for instance we're yeah. with, um, it, it's a terrestrial state and coming all the way from the island like I said you see the beauty of Lagos yes we are blessed but the only problem is the question of infrastructure uh, you can imagine in a place like this there's no electricity and how do you run a tour or resource without in, uh, electricity yeah. you, 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 you have to run your own um, light you have to get your own water you have to make everything work here i think um, it would be uh, more appropriate if government well could be saying this all this year all the private well, sector the organized private sector yes you know there's much the private sector can do there is there is but it still comes back to 
um, the question of uh, commitment. The natives who have lived on this particular beach most of their lives are immune to the magic of the sand and sea. This elderly man is a weaver. With palm fronts as raw materials, he is responsible for most of the makeshift fences in the community. Here you born him. They born you. Yeah. What you they do? You be fisherman? Yeah. 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 So how life for this area be? Tell us how life for here be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you did fine. Yeah. I did fine. Fine. And I get light. Light you did. Electricity? No. Nah, itself. I get the light. Generator. Generator. Generator, man. Yeah. So you just you just carry fish go Lagos where you catch for here. Ah, if you catch the fish place, they can go for Lagos. For sale the this one, uh, fresh fresh. You pay uh five. If you catch a fish, big one, you can go for. Yeah. If you just come. Here, the buildings and beach houses are made of wood and palm fronds, but it's been home to them for many years. Going across the water to get educated comes at the secondary level, as there is a very small school for the children in primary level. The dancers are oblivious of their environment. There is something about the beach that makes one childlike. Attention has mostly been drawn to government to improve the tourism sector of the country. That tune has changed as private participation is now the latest focus. The, tour the tourism industry has a great capacity in Nigeria, but the, I won't say I say the challenges ahead are for Nigerians to look inward. Investors, we should now move the focus to tourism that Trinidad and Tobago survives on tourism. A country that shuts down for two days because of enjoyment, because of tourism. The tourism potentials here are far greater than Trinidad. Really? Yes. Uh, why is I make bold to say that beside the beaches that you have, which are underdeveloped, you have the culture. If you blend the culture with, okay, tourism, is a, a major part culture is a major part of tourism if you merge culture if 
you merge the development of the beaches, if you merge the psyche of the Nigerian to appreciate not just the culture, but their natural endowment like the beaches, the skies, there is no reason why Nigerians can not invite friends for businessmen or investors when they come to Nigeria. Outside, where do they take them? Outside, uh, I think they go to Benin, uh, they go to Badagri, uh, they go to Whispering Palm, they go to Benin, they go to Abiyokuta, Bulumura. Those are just a few, but that's not all. Remember, we have 36 states. Well, as you can see, speak for yourself. I mean, just look at it. From beginning to the end, it's, it's a beautiful place to be and it's like, it's like a place you always want to visit every now and then. It's beautiful. What's so special about it? People are talking like it's just water and sand. What is it talking about? Tell us. Yes, what's so special about it is the, the management of this Harlem Sing Beach. You know, come to think of it, the courtesy, the the, the way they, they take care of customers and all this so it makes it very very unique. And besides, you meet people, you know. Right. You meet people from beautiful all walks. Yeah, with beautiful ladies. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> so yeah, you know. So that's what makes it very very special, you know. So you you come here, you want to always come here. <laughs> Here with me is the guru of aqua tourism. If there's anything like that, you know, if you know about the cheese boating in Nigeria, you surely will know Tasa. That's what we call him. And he's been here at the boat now. And he's been having fun there, rolling around in the waters. And he's going to tell us his impression of this beach. Tell us. Yeah, Alem is a nice beach. And the guy is a um, you know, tourism man. Because sometimes I would say that the government is just uh, tourism by the beach. Nothing is happening yet. Although they want something to happen. But this is the place that you need to be. People ask to, you know, why now? You know? Relax, come to the beach, swim like I did. A lot of people. Actually, it takes, it, it takes a lot of time for you to convince a Nigerian woman or a man to go on the boat, to go to the beach. Today, it happens right on my beach. A guy and his girlfriend came. And the guest said, I'm not going on the boat. So I had to come and pursue her and all that. But well, she's right on this beach now, she doesn't want to go back. No. This is a, a place to be. You're just going to add 20 years more to your lifespan to come and have fun on the beach. I'm 50 years old, in April 30th. I'm here right now, having fun. Wow. I, I guess you're going to guess my age. Yes, I'm just telling you now, I'm 50 years old. But I'm <laughs> you're always 50 on the years beach. young. <laughs> young, isn't it? Okay, I need more 50, that's what she said. All right, now, yes. what do you think should be done to instill confidence in people? Because a lot of them will think, oh, I want to go to the beach, I'll have to go by boat. Yeah. Why all that trouble when I can drive to a beach somewhere in Lagos? Why come this far? What is the unique feature that will make me come here? Okay, like I said, you see, um, on our way coming, uh, before we enter the boat, actually, I asked my friends and you know everybody to put on their life jacket. At least that you know give them confidence that if anything happens, you know just to come in and tell them, look, there's no problem. Put on the life jacket. If anything happens on the water, on the boat, and you are in the water, this thing will keep your head above the water, so you are safe. So there's no problem. But and, and again, it depends on how adventurous you are. So I mean, that makes you want to come. You see fishermen fishing. A lot yeah. of things you don't see in the city. And there's so much of nature here. That's what I'm saying. And one thing for sure is that uh, the beaches like this are neater than the ones we have over there. Yeah, but you, don't, you better say thanks to Mr. Harlemson. The, the beach is not like this on its own. It's a man that cleaned it up. You know, if you go past this place now, around 20 or 100 feet, put your camera there, you see that the place is dirty. So these are the people that are in tourism. They really, really care about tourism. They want people to come out for, at their own expense right now. Actually, what we are doing is at our own expense now. But I, we believe in future. A lot of Nigerians we know what we call tourism and won't have fun. So this is the beach you need to be. We I have know. 100 and something kilometer miles stretch of waterways. And in your opinion, there should be uh, private in investors or private investment. You know, because if this portion is neat, you're because there's private investment, yeah. the other portions are not. So you advise that people, businessmen, should put their money in. Yeah, that's yes. You are very, very correct. Yeah. yeah. 
know, that's why I said at his own, at his own expense now. To so spend a lot of money to do these things. But not everybody has that. They, uh, most of the news is that what can they get from the government, not what they can give to the government. Please be private. You can actually bring your friends down here without being able to kill it. The place is very new. The whole setup is very clean. That's a possibility. So coming by boat, did you enjoy that? Actually, there's, I don't think there's any other way one can actually come home to this place. But the thing is, this, boat rides are really good if you actually like water. Do you like water? Mm. There's, nobody, there's nobody on here that doesn't really like water. I don't think there's nobody here that doesn't really like water. But the thing is, this, when we're coming over, we'll be able to like see some things. The view is very lovely. Be able to like enjoy it. So why you actually come over to a place like this? And when you actually get here, you find a very clean place, a lovely beach, and the people that are attending to you are very lovely. Too. around this place uh, I want to say that uh, I've been to other places but this is one yeah, beach no I want to say that uh, any other person I've been to other uh, uh, from the sea to the shore it's a very beautiful summit people around here pretty girls But I would say it's one beach I really enjoy most. And I enjoy other places where I won't be here for my kind of first time. It's my first time here, so I think it's great. So, what do you think should be done to make it better? Because I'm sure you came here by boat. Weren't you scared? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but that makes it unique, right? Um, no. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think should be done to better this place? If you go to a beach, what do you expect to see? If you go to a beach to relax. Thank you.